guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I asked you guys to leave me some questions that you had for me. It's been so long since I sat down and did a Q and A and I figured now's the time, now's better than ever. I have so many amazing questions from you guys. Thank you so much for leaving questions and I'm just gonna go through and answer them. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about me or getting your questions answered, then keep on watching and Let's do it. Share Burr. I'm sorry, you guys, if I mispronounced your name. She asked, hmm, questions. How old are you? How long have you been into makeup? And what does your go-to favorite makeup look like? So I'm 23. How long have I been into makeup? I've been into makeup for a really long time, but I was never really into like glamorous makeup like I am now. I was really like into like grungy, like smeared eyeliner look. And I guess like I always thought I was into makeup, but then once I really got into it, I was like, whoa, there's so much more that I had no idea about. When did I really get into it? Like five years ago, I would say, I think. I don't know, time is like such a blur for me, but I think it was like five years ago. And my favorite makeup look is probably just like the look that I wore in my last tutorial, which is just like a really like, kind of like natural, natural look. Um, I like looks like this too, but like my go-to look is the one that I had in my last video. That's what I feel most comfortable in. Lorianne asked Ulta or Sephora. Honestly, like for different reasons. I like both of them. Sephora, I like, I think it's a really convenient place. Ulta, I think has a lot of good hair stuff. Sephora has good hair stuff too. I don't know, I like both of them. That's like such a hard question, but usually I would gravitate towards Sephora before Ulta, but I like that Ulta has drugstore. That's really convenient. So I don't know, both. <laughs> Maria A asked your height and where do you live? I am five, six and a half, but I call it five, seven. And I live in Los Angeles. I just moved here like six months ago. Actually, the six month anniversary of me moving here was like three days ago. Would you consider creating your own brand? Sorry if you have one already, I'm new here. I don't have a brand. Um, and would I consider creating one? Yeah, for sure. I mean like that's, that would be cool. But like, is that the thing that drives me to continue making YouTube videos? Like, no, I mean like, I don't know. Maybe one day I would create a brand. I feel like everybody creates a brand right now and I'm like so straight away from it because of that. But like, it's a lot of work too, starting a brand. Like for real, I've seen it firsthand and it's grueling. So would I do it? Yes. Is that my main goal? Not really. Your recommended lashes slash lash brands for hooded eyes. Any lash brand has lashes for hooded eyes. What I recommend for hooded eyes specifically are lashes that fan out. That's what always worked best for me and in my experience, lashes that fan out. So the longest uh, point would be towards the end rather than the longest point being in the center. That usually looks better on hooded eyes, but my favorite lash brand is Worldwide Lashes just because they have amazing lashes. They last so long and they're really affordable. So you should check them out. Jennifer Dawn Vasquez Gonzalez asks, best thing about living in Pennsylvania, what's one thing you've always struggled with and will you ever go back to college or why did you decide to not go that route? Best thing about living in Pennsylvania to me is the trees. I know that sounds funny, but like I literally love the trees. And what is my hair doing? What's one thing you've always struggled with? I am a control freak to another level. It's insane. It literally rules my entire life. Like my, I'll, I'll literally wake up in the morning and I'll be like, so what's your plan for the day? Or like the night before, like to my roommate, to anyone that I'm with, I need to know their plan. I need to know what's going on all around me at all times. If I'm in the studio, I'll always ask like, is somebody filming next door? Like I need to know everything. I need to know every detail. And like literally I don't even drink alcohol and partly because I hate losing control of myself when I'm drinking. I mean, it also makes me really sick, so it has to do with that too, but the control factor is a huge part of it. Like for real, I am a control freak. It's really difficult to live with. <laughs> Will you ever go back to college and why did you decide not to go that route? So I did go to college as it seems like you know, I went for like literally not even an entire semester and I dropped out because it just like was not for me. I mean, like, I feel like there's no shame in that. If college isn't for you, then that's fine. Like there's so many other career paths. There are so many trades and like so many things you can do with your life that doesn't involve college. So I dropped out. I chose not to do that. Will I go back? No, I have no intention of going back to school. I hate school so much. I'm not a good student. I just like, I am way too, I can't pay attention. I can't do work. I'm way too lazy. It's just like, it doesn't work for me. And I'm like a life learner. Like I learn through experiences and that I just, I learned a lot from going to college. 
but not for my classes in college, if that makes sense. Just not for me, you know? Abby Moreno asked, have you ever gotten fillers done on your face? I've never gotten face fillers. I don't know if it's like what you're considering, because I have gotten my lips done before, as I've mentioned. I've gotten Juvederm in my lips, and honestly, like, it's pretty much gone now, I'm pretty sure. I haven't gotten like cheek fillers or like, Botox or anything like that, which I will trust and believe I will when I need it, but um, I don't really think I need it right now, so no, I haven't. Not yet. Not yet, but one day, trust. Kyra Broadus asked, first of all, we went to high school together, love you so much. Kyra asked, what did you want to be when you were younger and how did that dream turn into makeup? When I was younger, like legit, I wanted to be a fashion designer so bad. It's actually so funny because we have like all these books that my mom got for me to draw in and I have like these shirts and like clothing, a dress and everything that I drew out and there's literally a shirt on it that says I love peas and then like pants that say I love peas and it's got like peas all over it. And then there's like a shirt that says like beer. And then it has like, it says like bottle cap. I'm like, I was literally like five. Why was I drawing shirt with beer cans on it? But yeah, I wanted to be a fashion designer for so long. How did that translate into makeup? I don't know, honestly, like I lost that dream for fashion designing like long time ago. But I just like, I don't know, once I started doing makeup, like the passion in me was something like I had never seen before because I was always the type of person to try something and like take classes for it and then just like get tired of it after like, couple months, but makeup was like the one thing that like I just continually like wanted to improve in and just keep trying and trying and trying. So I just like, I don't know, I just rode with, like kept going with the wave and here I am. Risa Jones says, my question, how old are you? Which I already answered, I'm 23. And are you married? What's going on in your love life? And in general, sorry if that's too much. Love you, you're beautiful. That's not too much and I love you too, thank you. So like I said, I'm 23 and I'm not married. I am very much, a free woman. Do you work out or have a meal plan going on to stay fit? <laughs> Guys, I am like embarrassingly the most out of shape person ever. It's really, really bad. Like I am, was out of breath by walking up like a flight of steps today. It's, I, I don't move physically. <laughs> I don't understand. I think like recently I've just had like a really, like the past like five years of really fast metabolism. I don't like go through any meal plan. I just like, I'll eat whatever I want and then sometimes it's like, all right, like I've been like really eating just like crap and I'm starting to feel really crappy from it. So I'll be like, I'm gonna have like a vegetable today, you know? So <laughs> I don't really have like a meal plan. I should, I need to, like, it's like really bad. I need to start working out. Honestly though, like I am very much, you can tell that I'm out of shape when you look at me. It's not like I'm like one of those people like Jaleesa. She literally is so, like her body is snatched and she like you could punch her and break a finger and I'm like, girl, do you work out? She's like, no. I'm like, what? How? It's like, it's not fair. But yeah, I, I like, I'm definitely like, you know, you couldn't tell right there, but trust me. Michaela, I love your makeup videos. My question is, do you have a university degree and if so, in what career? Hi, from Ecuador. Hi, Ecuador. Um, my cousins live there in Ecuador and I hear it's a beautiful place. I haven't been there yet, but I, I would like to go. Thank you for saying you love my makeup videos. Do I have a university degree? Like I said earlier, I do not, but I did. I didn't say that I went for chemistry and biology. So that's what I was going for, as you can understand why I dropped out at that point, right? It was... How long did it take you to become good at makeup? Practicing every day, it took me, I don't really know how long, like a couple months of like really like just spending all my time focusing on makeup. It took a long time, but you know what they say, it's like 10,000 hours of anything can make you an expert. So if you just put in time, it's like practice makes perfect. Probably like at least six months, maybe a year. And like, I'm still improving. I'm constantly learning. I literally will look back to a makeup look that I posted like six months ago and be like, girl, what were you thinking? But I mean, that's life. You gotta constantly improve. I don't think I'll ever be at that level that I want to be. What is your favorite actor, actress, and why? Which one of their movies is your favorite? Love you, love you too. My favorite actress, my entire life has always been Meryl Streep. I used to have a really weird obsession with Meryl Streep where I had an entire mural on my like large wall in my bedroom that was just magazine cutouts of Meryl Streep. <laughs> Why? I don't know, but uh, my favorite movie with her in it has to be, I really love Devil Wears Prada. I also really like Death Becomes Her. That's such a classic, such a good one. I, I feel like that's, like I don't have a current favorite actress, but my, like all my life, it was always Meryl Streep. I was like, Meryl, it was like, we would do this all the time. We'd be like, the Meryl face. <laughs> it literally says in my eighth grade yearbook, something about Meryl Streep, like for real. I wish I had that to show you guys right now because I was 
unhealthily obsessed with Meryl Streep. All right, you guys, that's all the questions I have for you today. I could answer thousands more, but the video would be way too long. And I really didn't have thousands of questions anyways, let's be real. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new about me. Yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you'll subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.